Okay, what is going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. So it is finally time to show the new edition which has been with me for already a, a few weeks actually since the uh, 24th which actually was picked up at uh, the last show that I went to, the Sewer Fest. Now obviously you guys know by now that uh, it is the female pick this gecko. Now some of you might remember that I already have the male so I was interested in getting the female. Now this doesn't exactly mean that I will be uh, breeding them especially not this year that's not for sure but maybe next year. They, they are such cute little geckos that uh, to be honest you know I, I kind of want to get into uh, breeding them and as far as I know and you know as far as uh, I've been told it's very easy. But I am not prepared for you know so many uh, tiny babies, so that's why I'm saying that it's a for sure that this year I will I will not be uh, breeding them, maybe next year. But of course, before showing her, um, I you know I do want to say you know obviously where she came from. So okay, so same as crispy uh, bacon. <laughs> so now I got crispy bacon. Ha ha ha. Uh, she, she also came from Supreme Gecko so you know I have already talked to, to Wally a lot uh, you know about getting some geckos from him because you know he's been very supportive of my channel so if I'm interested in a gecko that uh, he's working with then I'm going straight you know to him so you know this is already the uh, the second gecko that I get from him and you know I've been getting a lot of uh, isopods from him and you know of course now this shirt so you know I I definitely recommend for you to look into you know you know everything that he breeds because you know obviously uh, um, he might focus a lot on on pictus gecko but he breeds uh, many different species of geckos you know including crest geckos and you know some other species and maybe. I will be getting one more gecko from him, but not a Pictus gecko, a different species. It's not a for sure yet, but most likely. But anyways, time to show Bacon. Alright, say hello to Bacon. So this is Bacon. Uh, she looks like she's about to jump and you know, these are not flying geckos. Uh, so yeah, hopefully yeah, she doesn't jump, but look at how, sh how small she is. Man, they are so freaking cute. I cannot believe that this species of gecko is not more you know more common you know maybe because they're so small but you know not everyone wants a, a Lichianus gecko or you know some gigantic gecko you know I like all kinds of um, I, okay. <clears throat> I like all species of lizards you know from from giant monitor lizards to small little geckos and you know uh, it's one of the reasons why I named my my channel you know, lizard world. Not because I can barely pronounce it, but because I like lizards from all over the world. <laughs> Man, I I love that pattern that uh, that they have. So, <clears throat> so as you can see, uh, you know, this is a different pattern as crispy. You know, crispy is uh, I think it's called a stripe. That is like a, a you know one straight line or stripe. You know, basically from from the uh, from the neck all the way to the tail, and this one is banded, which you know is exactly what I wanted. And as you can see, man, this these geckos are are very uh, very easy to handle. You know, they they are they are shy in their setup, but you know, uh, once you pick them up, as you can see, you know they're not they're not trying to. Uh, okay, you know they they're not crazy like trying to to jump or something. Now this doesn't mean that I, you know, I want to be handling her uh, too much because, uh, as I said, you know, they're not flying geckos, <laughs> so I do not want her to to actually jump or, you know, for me to drop her, because with how small they are, you know, if uh, if you guys get one or you decide to get one, if you're gonna handle one, make sure that it's sitting down or in a table, not you know standing. Okay. Now, as I said, you know, she's been with me since the 24th, so, you know, um, I don't really have a lot of clips, you know, I will be sharing the ones that, uh, that I have, basically of her just standing there. <laughs> but, you know, I have not been able to get her on camera eating, so, you know, sorry about that. Hopefully once I make uh, an update on both of them, because, uh, you know, uh, every time that I do uh, a video about Pictus Gecko, it will always be of uh, them too. Now, you know, it's a big difference uh, when you're just um, 
Okay, it's a big difference when you just have a, a gecko for for a couple of weeks. Then when you have one for months, you know they start getting used to you, and you know you obviously learn um, maybe a better way to to approach them. Because with crispy now, man, he he will he he will come come to me when I have the uh, the tongues. He is learning now that uh, the tongues mean food, and that's exactly what I'm hoping that. Uh, it will be the same case for, for bacon. Now I also want to show you the uh, temporary setup that I have for her. Uh, you know, it's a, it's a big tank uh, for them. <clears throat> but you know, if you can always give them a little more space than, than what they need, then go for it. It's always better. Now, as I said, you know, this is the temporary setup. Uh, this is a 20 gallon uh, fish tank, which to be honest, I hate using, but you know, that's why it's called a temporary setup. So you know, right there, that's bacon. And as you can see, you know, this is a, a big tank for for her. But you know, I okay. <clears throat> but I have, but as I have always said, you know, I prefer to have you know just ten or twenty lizards instead of a hundred, and to give all of them a little more space than uh, what they just need. So this is basically the uh, the basking spot, which you know they actually do bask. Uh, not every single time, but okay, <clears throat> maybe not every single night, but to be honest, I don't know because uh, you know, I don't see them uh, all every single night Now it is set uh, 292, but you know, I, I took this out uh, so I can so I can grab her so you know It's showing a different uh, Temp at the moment. So you know, it's a it's very simple, you know, just uh, two kind of flat rocks so uh, you know this is not moving too much you know obviously she would never be able to to move this but you know you just don't you just want to make sure that this is not going to move because a rock like this size you know it will definitely uh <clears throat> you know squish her but you know something very cool that uh, that i just learned about them is that uh, they will actually go into the um i don't know what you call them uh, crevices uh, you know the uh, the spaces between the, the rocks and they can actually fit in there uh, that's actually where, where I found her she was uh, you know between the two rocks which you know uh, you just want to make sure that you keep that in mind always uh, because you do not want to remove a rock and then it falls and it falls right on top of her so you know substrate uh, sand topsoil is uh, what I use for every single one of my lizards all the time you know uh, um, a water bowl in a feeding dish but you know this is the uh, this is the setup simple you know for uh, for heat uh, what I always use for my nocturnal lizards it's always a uh, um, you know a CHE <laughs> okay everyone well that was bacon now even though she's actually uh, really young she's just a, a few months old she's already bigger than uh, than crispy which you know I actually had no idea that uh, the females are normally bigger than than the males so you know I learned something new but all right guys uh, you know I guess that's gonna be all for this video I you know I wanted to at least make this video because uh, I've been trying to uh, uh, you know show her for like two weeks already, uh, you know, I'm, I'm kind of falling behind on some of the videos and uh, for next week You know, I'm definitely gonna have a, a video that I've been waiting two years already to make so make sure to be back next week Alright guys. Well, thank you so much for watching You know, I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video if you guys did please make sure to give it a like and please subscribe if you haven't and I will see you next week